Hi guys, my name is Anuj Chindal and I welcome you to my channel. Today, NABARD notification has been released in the newspaper, today is 7th of May. And they've also said that the notification online is going to be released on 10th of May 2019. Now, the first question that you must be thinking about is when will the exam be held? Well, let me tell you that conventionally, there is no rule, let me remind you, but conventionally, uh, it takes almost one and a half to two months for uh, any organization to carry out the examination. So if the notification gets released on 10th of May as per NABARD, then June last week to July first week, this should be the time range when the exam should ideally be held. Of course, it might change, but ideally it should be held between June last week to July first week. So let's take that we have about two months left for the exam. So we are going to prepare a strategy. I'm going to prepare a strategy for you and with you. And, uh, you know, we'll try to cover the syllabus within this time period of two months, given that you're also preparing for RBI examination. We'll keep that in mind and we'll make sure that we can cover as much as possible for the upcoming exam if you're starting now. Now, what am I going to discuss today? Before going through that, two important announcements that I wanted to make. Number one, all the scholarship students uh, who've got selected, uh, a total of 950 students had for the exam, a total of 50 students have been selected this time. Uh, about two months back, I had another scholarship test where I gave out scholarships to more than 50 students again. So this time, 50 students have been selected and mails have been sent out to them along with the discounts or along with the scholarship. Ideally, that word, that's what we should be calling it. So uh, please check your mails, whether the spam folder or the regular folder and make sure that you enroll within the next 24 hours because a lot of students are waiting in the line and I want to provide them the scholarship as soon as possible so that they can start immediately. So after 24 hours, if you don't enroll, your scholarship is going to be passed on to the next student. Uh, so make sure that you enroll immediately and you start your preparations immediately as well. The second announcement about 30% and 20% early bird discount for NABARD. Uh, so if you're uh, already preparing for RBI or if you're thinking of preparing for all these three examinations now, then uh, you can take any of these discounts which are available or uh, which are valid for the next 24 hours again. So 30% for the combo courses of RBI, SEBI and NABARD and 20% for only NABARD courses if you're willing on preparing only for NABARD. Okay, so these were the two announcements. Let's now immediately move towards the important things that we're going to discuss today. Uh, expected exam date, we've already discussed that, no need to cover it again. Pattern of uh, uh, NABARD grade A and NABARD grade B. In order to understand that, let me take you to the syllabus of NABARD grade A and NABARD grade B. A lot of students uh, called me today and asked me, sir, what is the pattern of NABARD grade A and NABARD grade B? Okay, so, in the left side, you should be able to see a screen now where you can see the entire syllabus of NABARD grade A. I repeat, the entire syllabus of NABARD grade A is on the screen now, not NABARD grade B. In phase one or preliminary examination, you have a total of seven subjects. And out of these seven subjects, three subjects are of 40 marks each. Now, what are these three subjects? English language, number one. Economic and Social Issues number 2 and Agriculture and Rural Development number 3. These are of 40 marks each and the remaining 4 areas are of 20 marks each. That makes a total of 200 marks uh, worth of questions and 200 questions which are to be done in 120 minutes. Not a difficult task, certainly easier than RBA grade B and the reason is, is that uh, a total of 100 questions can be done in a smaller time. In fact, not even 100, 120 questions, if we include uh, computer knowledge also, can be done in a shorter span of time. Vis-a-vis -vis RBI, where only 80 questions are to be done in a shorter span of time, 120 questions take longer time. So uh, the time period is more, so if you are one of those students who uh, are slower in content reasoning, but whose accuracy is high, if you're given more time, then this is the exam for you, okay? Uh, phase one of both NABARD grade A and NABARD grade B, grade B, both are same. Let me take you to NABARD grade B. This is the syllabus for NABARD grade B. As you can see here, reasoning, English language, computer knowledge, general awareness, quant, ESI, ARD, 
seven areas same marks so phase one of both nabard grade a and grade b are exactly the same the level differs of course to a certain extent especially quant and reasoning but the syllabus is exactly the same let's come to phase two of nabard grade a now what you can see on your screen is uh, in nabard grade a there are two papers paper one is of english which is the same for both nabard grade a and nabard grade b in english you are asked a combination of essay comprehension and pressy letters used to be asked before but now they are not asked anymore so you can even skip those areas given that we have limited time okay so english common for nabard grade a and nabard grade b then you have uh, paper 2 uh, for nabard grade a which is esi and art which is also the same for both nabard grade a and nabard grade b okay which is esi and art it is also of 100 marks it is almost similar to rba grade b esi only only some areas are here and there uh, additional in nabard grade a and nabard grade b that can be covered very easily agriculture and rural development is the area where students lose out a lot and also students gain a lot of marks so that is the area that we are going to focus upon a lot preparing while preparing for nabard grade a as well as grade b phase 3 or paper 3 sorry is the paper which is specific to nabard grade b what is that paper let's talk about that paper 3 is development economics statistics and finance and management as you can see on the screen development economics statistics finance and management Finance and management is exactly the same as RBA Grade B, so I'm assuming that you're also preparing for RBA Grade B. No need to prepare separately for finance and management. Development economics, lot of overlaps with ESI. Some additional things like development theories, uh, you know, or uh, some other areas which are given here and there, but not a lot of difference. So if you're preparing for ESI uh, in for RBA or preparing for UPSC simultaneously. very easy to cover statistics is the area which is going to uh, be difficult for a lot of students if you don't have that background but the advantage is that a uh, very less number of students are going to sit for nabard grade b exam given that seats are less and at the same time paper is more technical so if you can cover statistics in a short span of time at least cover it once or twice i think you will be good to go if you can understand statistics to a decent level now i'll also be talking about how have i covered statistics in a short span of time so stick around okay i'll i'll be showing you everything so this was the pattern of nabard grade a and nabard grade b it's exactly the same as i have shown you in the uh, slides very recently uh, uh, how, then you have how to prepare now how to prepare section i let me show you in agriculture and rural development how have i covered the entire syllabus and then we'll move on to the other areas so what you can see here is the entire agriculture and rural development part which has already been covered through videos as well as pdfs if you start with agriculture you see agriculture definition branches of agriculture which is also the introduction of agriculture then you move to specific areas as you can see here agronomy classification of field factors affecting crops agro climatic zones cropping systems problems of dry land agriculture seed production precision farming organic farming ecology and climate change animal husbandry and poultry fisheries forestry plantation horticulture soil and water conservation water resource the entire syllabus has been covered only some small areas uh, specific to uh, let's say current affairs are left which we are going to cover in a short span of time then you have rural development how have i covered rural development rural area sector wise changes in rural development rural occupation artisans handicrafts forest dwellers panchayati raj functions of panchayat schemes uh, and a lot of other areas have already been covered and the remaining areas will be covered very shortly so this is how the entire agriculture and rural development has been covered through both videos and pdfs and now i'm going to focus on reverse engineering where i will be starting with the Uh, questions based analysis of both agriculture and rural development so this was about agriculture and rural development now if you have not seen my rbi videos the uh, videos where i introduced the uh, entire syllabus let me take you through that also economic and social issues and finance management i'm going to give you a brief idea about economic and social issues how i have covered the entire syllabus 
so we start with macroeconomics where we cover the entire macroeconomics of india starting from difference between micro and macroeconomics moving towards macroeconomic identities national income concepts then you have new methods of national income accounting fiscal policy and monetary policy balance of payment and then you have quizzes similarly we move towards growth and development where i talk about growth versus development and then we talk about uh, recent developments in sustainable development or recent evolutions in sustainable development i start from the history of sustainable development how it evolved over time how it became very important in the 1970s how different commissions came together and gave their theories or gave their recommendations how uh, different summits were held and uh different agreements were carried out what about sustainable development goals all those things have been covered then you have international and regional organizations uh iska test the test of international and regional organizations was conducted recently in pledge 2019 video uh, uh live session which was carried out on friday so if you have not covered any of those live sessions do join me for those weekly live sessions where i take a test in the form of a game so this week also on friday i'll have a live session i'll have a test on uh, government schemes of 2018 and 19 and i request you to join that it's going to be very beneficial for you then india before 1991 after 1991 social sectors in india all the social important social sectors have been covered niti aayog reports i have been saying this for a long time niti aayog reports are going to be very important this year prepare them very uh, thoroughly i have already prepared all the uh, pdfs i have started covering everything through videos also in order to make it much more easier for you to understand so do watch those areas don't leave them uncharted then basics of bi monthly monetary policy past year paper analysis uh, government schemes all these things have already been covered in uh, the esi section similarly in finance and management also everything has been covered uh statistics is an area where i have covered all the pdfs but the same have not been uh, uploaded yet they will be uploaded very very soon uh for nabard okay so this was about how to prepare of course i will be coming out with a four week strategy this time because the exam is expected to take place within eight weeks so we'll try and cover everything within the first four, four weeks and then we'll revise everything in the remaining four weeks then you have vacancies one of the most important questions i think students have been asking or have been must be thinking about when it comes to nabard grade b then you have eight vacancies you must be thinking very less i should leave it i should not even focus on it so much studies but a lot of students are thinking the same so it's the right time to grab this opportunity bahut kam log exam likhne wale hain a very less number of students are expected to write or go for nabard grade b so you should be the one to grab this opportunity when it comes to nabard grade a 79 vacancies i think it's a decent level of vacancies considering that every year they come out with such uh, number of vacancies only so nothing surprising uh, this is a bonus that you have eight additional vacancies so if you are uh, determined enough if you think that you can pull off statistics and similar areas and if you are also preparing for rbi then i think nabard grade b is for sure you have to take it you cannot leave it statistics can be covered within uh, one week at least once and then you can focus on revising it i don't think it's going to be a challenge given that i'm going to provide you pdfs and then we are also going to cover everything in the form of question based videos rather than me explaining you everything i'll take up questions and through those questions i'll try and cover everything okay so this was all about today's session where i discussed the notification i showed you the syllabus of last year we've covered a lot of things we've understood uh, if you did not have any idea about what the syllabus was or how to prepare or if you want to know more about uh, how exactly should we strategize for the next 4 weeks of course i'm going to help you with that i'll be out with the video soon the announcements i'm making them again specially for the scholarship students do enroll immediately after 24 hours i will have to pass on the scholarships to the remaining students so check your mails all of you who have whoever sat for the exam uh check your spam folders as well as the normal folders normal inboxes uh, you have received a mail if you have scored well in the examination okay so uh, that's all for today tomorrow we are going to discuss the four week strategy for nabard and we're going to start very intensely with the entire prep all the very best take care